Welcome back to Girl Talk. As promised, we have ventured outside of Bella Domicile and actually come into a home where they have done some fabulous work. We are joined by Don Dizambat Falvi, lead designer at Bella Domicile, and Donna Weihoffen, who is a nutritionist and the connoisseur of cooking, if I may say oh, so. Oh, I don't know about that, but I enjoy it. <laughs> I agree. Well, I agree. We're so thankful for you letting us into your home oh, and welcome. letting us be a little bit a part of your holiday traditions and yes. holiday cooking. So thank you very much for that. What are you going to do for us today? Well, I thought we'd make a really easy holiday meal. Um, and it, I want it to be colorful, but something that anybody can do. And our favorite recipe of all times is a a teriyaki pork tenderloin. It's in one of my cookbooks called Magic Spices. And in this cookbook, um, well, first of all, my daughters liked it so well, they didn't even want me to give the recipe away. Oh. Oh, and man. so I put it in my cookbook. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so that didn't help. No, it but, didn't. So all it is is taking pork tenderloin and marinating it in a teriyaki sauce and then putting it on the grill. 100% of the time this recipe works. Oh, wonderful. And so I have grilled that already. And then I made uh, baked stuffed potatoes, which is mm. really easy to do. And um, you just bake potatoes and, and mash them. So that, that's the standard meal. But I want to dress it up a little bit. So we're going to dress up the pork with some cranberry sauce. Okay. And I'm going to start out with fresh cranberries and put them in a frying pan. And by the way, this is my favorite pan of all times. It's called Swiss Diamond. Oh. If you don't have a Swiss Diamond pan, you need one. Must have. It must okay. Have. It is the best. So the cranberries, are, cranberries are, have about two cups of cranberries and about a fourth of a cup of water. But the secret to this recipe is going to have some brandy. Oh, that's the okay, secret. That's now the I know secret. why they didn't want it given away. <laughs> so I'm going to cook the cranberries with a little brandy. And then also, I'm going to add sugar free um, apricot preserves. You could use the regular if you like, but this will save a ton of calories. Mm -hmm. very so it's going to add some sweetness. It's going to cook up. I'm going to also add. A little bit of nutmeg. Just Perfect. A, That's a, such a great touch, flavoring. Touch yes. Nutmeg. Turn up and then also uh, some apple slices. So. And one of the things that you've mentioned a couple times, and Gandhi actually was telling me a little bit about this before we started, that these recipes and the recipes in your cookbook are really simple things. So for busy people, you know, you can have some really nice meals that are healthy but aren't going to take you all afternoon to try and understand right. and run out to the grocery yeah. store, as you, you said, things in your to. kitchen. One of the things about the magic spices, I use common everyday spices. I said, all you need is this group of spices right. and that's all you need. Really smart. And you can make all kinds of things. But so it really it really dresses up. The, the recipes, everything is one paragraph in that book. Yeah. That's what yeah. I like as yeah. a busy working mm -hmm. lady. Right. Um, but the little tweaks you do with the spices elevate the meal. And, and I think the other thing is everything is super healthy in yeah. there. <laughs> yes. And I want to get to the kitchen okay. component okay. too because okay. you are a nutritionist. You, you do mm -hmm. all these lovely meals for folks as they come over and as you entertain and for other people to do in their own homes. But you did this beautiful remodel that Bella Domicile came in and, and took oh, care of you. Oh, because Dondi did it ah. for me. I, yes. Oh. So talk to me about some of the elements that are important to you when you began planning for, okay. for your lifestyle. Well, I said to Dondi, I, I have to have an attractive kitchen. That's the number one thing. It has mm -hmm. to be attractive. <clears throat> Secondly, efficient. And uh, with really kind of quality, in, like cupboards and mm -hmm. things like that. And also, I had a space, and I, you know, and Dondi, I said, this is all I've got. I just have this one space. So I could never do this at my, by myself. Dondi had to create this, you know, this plan. And she actually gave me three plans. Mm hmm Didn't you? Yep. So some options. This some was options. option three, this actually. This was option three. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. What's behind like, door okay. number three? Well, it was a really huge difference <laughs> from what was here. Mm hmm But you mm -hmm. know where it all came from was I went over to Donna's house that she was living in at the time. And everything centered around her cooktop. Mm -hmm. This kitchen had this actually gorgeous, just a range. By the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I couldn't see Donna with her back to her guests. I know. I just Otherwise, I'd be cooking like this right. to the camera, That's and that smart. wouldn't be very yeah. smart. And these are the kinds of things that that come into mind. So this was actually a, a sort of cookie cutter mm -hmm. condo space, right? Yes. Right. Right. So that's one of the main changes that you made was you didn't want her back to her guests. Any mm -hmm. other big things that really are important elements? Well, we just I think the main thing is you can individualize the space mm -hmm. for what the what people like Donna mm -hmm. needed. She had they had a buffet over here 
with some glass doors, she totally was not interested in that. She needed a lot of storage. She's got a lot of food products right. that she needs to have available. All these available. lovely pans, like you yep. mentioned. Right. Exactly. I needed the storage, so instead of just, I didn't need, didn't need to show off things. I needed really good storage. Practical. Practical yeah. storage. Making, sure. making the space work. And so I, I yeah. think that's something that we've learned from, from being at Bella in, in the showroom is there's a great way to get a lot of storage and have things put mm -hmm. away, but still accessible. Mm -hmm. Because right. that's one of my pet peeves is when you've got it all looking beautiful, Mm. But when you go to use it, you got to move everything around, right. and it's not easy to get to. But you've incorporated some really great elements. Yep. To We're going to show you. And also, I wanted my refrigerator covered. I didn't want... The, my kitchen extends into my living room, and so I didn't want people sitting in my living room and looking at a big, white refrigerator. Sure. And so we covered the refrigerator, and after a while, when you take a look at my kitchen, you'll see that you don't even know where the refrigerator yeah. is. So Isn't that's that something? That's, that's an that's interesting awesome. point. I didn't notice the refrigerator. I, no, I'm you didn't. No. You know what I did notice was this beautiful range <laughs> in, in the your wonderful top. counter space. Right. Mm -hmm. So Look at that. Those uh, cranberries are popping open already. Right, they look are. And that. so this would be a finished sauce. So I could... So when my sauce is finished, it'll cook up, you know, thicker like this. That's beautiful. And so what I'm going to do is take the cranberries. I'm going to have the camera follow me over here and put the cranberry sauce on top of the pork. So we'll finish it up by, and I can just add a little bit of this to show you how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. And the soup is a, a parade of carrot soup. And all of this can be done ahead. You can do the potatoes ahead the soup ahead, the, the sauce ahead, and then just grill your meat at the last minute. How smart. Well, what mm -hmm. an inspiration. So wonderful to get to see you in action. It's Thank been you. just a pleasure. This is Donna Weihoff, a nutritionist. Her book is Magic Spices. There's over 200 recipes in there, and we're so glad to be here in your gorgeous kitchen Thank by you. Bella Domicile. Oh. This is Don Di Zambat-Falvi yes. from Bella Domicile. It's been just a pleasure, ladies. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you to Don Di. I wouldn't have this kitchen without her. I mean, it's, it's so well planned. It's Thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, this is just one example of a, a gorgeous kitchen that mm -hmm. these folks have worked on over at Bella Domicile. We want to thank Bella Domicile and, and Donna Weihoffen for joining us. Thanks to all of our guests. Thank you for watching. Please join us next time for Girl Talk.